What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about what to expect from the Suicide Squad game at DC Fandom. Now, this is a happy coincidence that we finally got the confirmation that it is a Suicide Squad game, right? Uh, behind the scenes tidbit, really quickly, is that I already recorded this video, but under the assumption that this game obviously existed and was real. Now we know 100%, so I wanted to throw that in and kind of re record it, maybe give my updated thoughts, and talk about, again, what we should be expecting uh, of it at DC Fandom. So before I jump into that, I do want to just quickly promote uh, my Twitter. Podcast Now 15 is a Twitter handle. If you guys haven't yet followed me, the link for it will be in the description below. I tend to give updates on, on upcoming things on the channel. So again, just a different way of getting in contact uh, with me. So again, if you guys have not yet done it, Podcast Now 15. All right. Now, I know all of us are, I mean, I'm talking super fast. I always do that, but I think I'm talking faster than normal. All of us are very, very excited, right? The Suicide Squad game exists. The Suicide Squad game is real. It's happening. It's coming at DC Fan. We're gonna get I and what we're what are we gonna get? I guess that's obviously the main question, right? Here's the deal. It's going to be a teaser trailer, and I think that's probably it. Now we can talk a little bit about the teaser trailer, and in fact, we can kind of update my thoughts on the teaser trailer because now we kind of know a little bit about what to expect. So yesterday, I believe, I had a video talking about Superman, talking about not just him, but in my uh, general belief is that the Justice League is going to be possessed, corrupt whatever word you want to use, okay, controlled uh, in this game. You can tell by the red kind of uh, gas-like thing that's right next to his face in the poster. Now, I think that they are going to end up teasing more of these heroes, that they're going to maybe show Batman or Flash or, Cy you know, the Justice League, right? Wonder Woman, have these characters. I think they'll probably have them in different, you know, wallpapers, different, you know, posters, and we may see that same kind of gas, okay? So what am I saying? Well, First thing you can expect at DC Phantom is the teaser trailer. I think it's going to be 30, 40, 50, honestly, somewhere under a minute. I really do think that. I know, again, I know we're all excited. I know we're all expecting it, but we got to remember the main thing, and people have been pointing to this uh, ever since the game was announced on Friday, is if you remember, the talk about these games, and I say these games because I'm talking about Warner Bros. Montreal's uh, Batman game, okay, was that we're going to see little of that game, of the Batman game, and we're going to see even more little of this game game of Suicide Squad. So what does even more little mean? Well, I think it means just a teaser trailer. I don't think it means anything gameplay wise. I think it's all going to be, you know what I mean, all CG because ultimately, and this is what's kind of the funny thing, I feel like if Warner Bros. Montreal is going to continue to take their time, right, it may end up being where people are way more excited about this Suicide Squad game than the Batman game, which is an issue that they have to sort out, you know, internally, right, at Warner Bros. But I think that if we're going to get a kind of full-blown trailer for Batman, two, two and a half, three minutes, maybe in-game, you know, things, like we may see some cutscenes in that, we may see some maybe gameplay, like the like captured in-engine, right, that kind of stuff that they always say uh, for games, we could get that for the Batman game. Suicide Squad, I think will just be narration. Now, you know, when I recorded this video the first time, that's all I really had. That's the only thing you could really talk about, right? Let's talk about now, because I, what I was originally thinking was it could be some sort of narration. With teaser trailers, sometimes you'll get narration. A lot of times you'll get, like, fading, you know, backgrounds. Like, it'll be an all black, and then something will pop up, and then it'll go away, and it'll be something else. I feel like we're definitely going to get the logo of this game. Now, we saw Suicide Squad, like, the label on, marked on Superman's head, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the title. I mean, it could still very well be because again we knew that it could be Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Is that the main point of the game, or is that the title of the game? It could very well be the title, right? And in fact, honestly, it was a domain name, so it could very well be the title, right? At the same time, right now, we don't really know. So I think title is guaranteed. I think we'll get the title. I don't think we're going to get anything about release date. Maybe a release window, like it just says 2021. Again, I'm really going to stick with it. I still think sometime in May or June. May or June of 2021, I think it'll be... Uh, uh, the Batman game will be very early in 2021, and I think this Rock City game will be right in that middle point, and then they'll they'll finish 2021 with the Harry Potter game. That's how I think the kind of internal schedule is going to go. But again, that's pretty much it. However, with this trailer now, now we can start setting up things. I originally said it could very well just be somebody narrating, or we see a few members of the Suicide Squad, and that's literally it and then it's just the the logo okay at this point though they're very willing to show us 
in fact, they don't even show us the members of the Suicide Squad yet. They're immediately jumping to, okay, you're not getting a Superman game. Instead, Superman is the is the villain of this uh, of this game, right? So that's very honestly, I think it's going to kind of break the internet and break a lot of people's minds in a lot of ways. Even just thinking about that, right? Going back to that old conversation of so many people want a Superman game, so many people want a Justice League game. They're giving us the exact opposite. We are the enemies, and we are attacking the Justice League. They're actually the villains, the you know the enemy of our game. So that's pretty funny. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think that they could go more along a path of, and we'll have to see. We'll have to see if they start teasing, again, like I think, like my theory, that they'll start teasing other characters. Because if they're going to start teasing other Justice League members, it's very possible that it's kind of like a fade-in, fade-out of the Justice League members. And again, all with this kind of like, they don't look right, they kind of look angry, they look mean, they look possessed, you know, again, whatever word you want to use. Maybe that's the, the, the thing. And maybe the narration is like Amanda Waller saying like, okay, like you guys got to go in. These guys have gone rogue. We need to capture them or we need to kill them. something like that. I really do feel like because in a teaser trailer, you can still very well set up. I know it's harder. It's a lot harder. And I've even talked about that, right? But I really do think you can set up what the actual game is going to be. So I think if you had whoever's controlling the Suicide Squad, which in this case probably is going to be her, right? If you have it be her kind of talking about the Justice League, giving us the reasons why, okay, they're the enemies. Because even if you look at it from like a marketing perspective, again, so many people want to play this as the Justice League. Why would we want to go after them? Well, there needs to be a good reason. And again, if they're evil, if they're corrupted, and we have to stop them, that's a pretty solid good reason. I think, honestly, all of that can be conveyed very, very easily through a trailer, through a, through a very small teaser trailer where you don't have to show And if they want to keep it a mystery, you don't even have to show us the Suicide Squad. Honestly, we'll have to see because if they keep just teasing the Justice League members, I don't know if we'll see who specifically is in the Suicide Squad unless we hear names, unless we hear them maybe narr- Maybe it's a, I don't know, like a conference room kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like where Amanda Waller is like talking to the group of the Suicide Squad and she's saying, okay, well, here's the situation. And they're saying back to her, like like commentary. That could be a way that we can maybe tell by the like if we hear Harley's voice, we know she's in it, right? That could very well be a way of doing it. But they may just limit it to, hey, we'll tell you the Justice League members if the, you know if we're limiting it to not all of them or you know every one of them. We'll tell you that. We'll we'll tell you why we're doing what we're doing, but we're not going to tell you who the Suicide Squad is, right? So that could very very well happen uh, in this game. It's going to be really really exciting. So I'm expecting big things again and big things from small things which i know sounds weird but in all honesty i really don't think this trailer is going to be over a minute now if it is okay i mean that's fine more the merrier right but it's i think it's going to be a teaser trailer we're probably going to get nothing in game absolutely nothing i think that'll come later because again you got to kind of promote what comes first which is the batman game but at the same time even though it's so small i think you can convey a lot of stuff you can tell us about the story you can tell us about some of the characters and you can keep a lot of it a mystery all in one go you know what I mean? So I, I'm very, I mean, you can probably tell I'm very, very pumped for this. So guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's going to be a teaser trailer? What do you think would be shown in that teaser trailer? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And like I said, follow me on Twitter if you guys have not yet already. Podcast now 15 is the Twitter handle. Thank you guys so much for watching. More Batman and Suicide Squad videos coming to you guys probably daily at this point. Honestly, I'm super, super pumped. I have so many different ideas I want to get out to you, and so I think I'm going to do that. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for all those videos.